This is a day in the life of an antlion larva. Antlion larvae dig little pits. Uh, they use them as traps for catching their prey. In this video, each one of those individual cones is one pit. The antlion will hide at the very bottom of the pit and they hold their jaws, their mandibles, wide open. Basically just wait for a prey item to fall into the pit at which point they'll clamp down on it and then the jaws are hollow so they're actually able to suck the liquid out of their prey directly. So this antlion is maintaining its pit. Obviously it takes a little bit of time every day to, to keep it in that sort of pit shape. Um, to do so they basically use their mandibles as like a little shovel and they pick up dirt and they flick it up and out of the pit. Uh, oh, as you can see we're having a little bit of an issue. We have something happening. Ooh, we got a, a bit of a dirt bite going on here. It's like dirt falling in, the antlion is trying to flick the dirt out as much as possible. And it's because it's another antlion larva. So as you saw in the earlier video, oftentimes they do build their little pits really close to each other. And so every once in a while you get two that are a little bit too close. Um, and while this one is trying to, uh, it looks like perhaps relocate to a different spot, um, they do accidentally knock things into their, into their neighbor's pits. So I would say that most of the video, and I have many, many hours of footage, um, show the antlions basically maintaining their pits. Always has a little bit of sand sort of falling in. In this case, there was that very helpful neighbor there that knocked a whole bunch in. Um, and, and what they do is they just you know, kind of keep track of it all day. And because those pits are actually cone-shaped, the way that they maintain the cone is to do this fancy spin and rotate as they flick that sand. Uh, so like the animation showed you earlier, they basically spend most of their time um, when not doing pit maintenance, sort of waiting for prey. So they sit at the very bottom of that pit and they hold their jaws wide open and just wait for something to fall into the pit. Um, in this case, it looks like he's trying to get something. There's something there and got it. Uh, I can't quite make out what it is. It, it looks like it's a small hemipteran or true bug of some sort. Um, but what it's going to do is it's just going to kind of ma manipulate the prey using its mandibles um, and then it will suck the liquid out of the prey in different parts of the body. So that's what it's doing right now is it's going through the different bits of the body and sucking the liquid out. They don't actually chew up the hard bits. Um, they just suck the liquid out and then, and then leave the rest of it. Um, so a little more pit maintenance after all of that. A little bit more waiting, kind of making sure that they're going to be ready, kind of have to wait for anything to fall in, and uh, yeah, so there's a lot of just doing this all day. Um, so not a lot happened in that in the interim there, but um, a few hours later I, I had this video still going, and <laughs> this spider jumped right into the pit. So um, this poor little spider misjudged and, and ha unfortunately landed directly inside of it. And the, and the antlion did make an effort to grab it. Um, unfortunately for the antlion, it wasn't quick enough. And fortunately for the spider, it was able to escape. Um, and this took a while. It actually took many, many minutes to get out of that pit. This was sped up quite a lot. Um, but yeah, it did finally get out. And if you look in the lower left of the screen, you can see there's an aphid. It's kind of making its way around the pit and if the antlion actually sees that there is a prey item there they will flick sand in that direction to knock the prey down into the bottom of the pit and so that's basically what he's trying to do right now um, and as you can see it was successful and that aphids day um, is coming to a very abrupt and unfortunate end that's for sure so just as before, um, it's going to manipulate that prey and, and suck all of the liquid out of the inside, leaving behind that hard exterior exoskeleton. Uh, so that's what it's doing. It's going through and doing this. And, and this is sped up a lot too. This is 40 times um, sped up from, from normal speed. So it does actually take them a while to eat all of it. Um, once they are done though, however, um, they actually just flick the bodies out of the pit. I don't know if you saw that fly out. Um, and then sort of back to doing some more pit maintenance, back to doing a bit more waiting. 
Um, this is actually the only ant that I saw that fell into the pit throughout the entire day. This thing could not get out. Um, I'm not sure why the ant lion didn't try to eat it. Um, perhaps it was full from the other meals that it had already had. Um, perhaps it knew that, it, you know, I, I was walking in and out, checking on it every once in a while. Either way, it wasn't uh, hungry, so it got away. Uh, anyway, this was three hours of footage, so there's going to be uh, a lot that's missing, but it's, it was really exciting to make it, and I hope that you enjoyed it.